Here in part two, we learn that the world changed with the emergence of cyanobacteria. We know that photosynthetic bacteria arose something like 3.7 billion years ago. And by about 3.2 billion years ago, we think that cyanobacteria evolved. This was a single event that changed the world. Purple bacteria and green sulfur bacteria, which had existed at that time, both conducted cyclic photophosphorylation as independent pathways. However, in cyanobacteria, we find for the first time that both of those photosystems are combined together so that we have one reaction here feeding the second reaction. In addition to the coupling of these two photosystems, what we find is that the system is now oxygenic that at the base of this photosystem, too, water is split to form protons and diatomic hydrogen. And those electrons then pass through the photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 and are ultimately used to reduce NADPH. So instead of cyclic photophosphorylation, cyanobacteria developed a mechanism to split water and generate electrons to produce ATP and NADPH, avoiding the need for a cyclic process. This oxygenetic, oxygen-producing photosynthesis has evolved only once in the entire history of the Earth, and that was in cyanobacteria some three billion years ago. Here you see that cyanobacteria here are unique in oxygenetic, photo in oxygenetic photosynthesis, and so now let's focus a little bit more, not on the rest of the family tree here, but on cyanobacteria itself. So just to reiterate, cyanobacteria brought together for the first time two photosystems, photosystem two and photosystem one, that had been in purple and green sulfur bacteria before. Now that is the light reaction part of this 